Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to From Shrooms to Skyrim. Let's get it. I'm ready. Hurricane Ian, suck my dick. (laughs) Shut your mouth, bitch. Episode 111. That many, Jesus. Triple one. Shrooms, 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 shrooms. Let me tell you something about shrooms. They're good for you. Macro to micro, baby. Just how I like my penises. From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Harem. Yo, I was watching Ink Masters on Netflix for the first time, right? It's like Chopped, right? What's Chopped? The cooking show where you get eliminated? Oh. That's what I, it looked like when I was watching it. Yo, so Ink Masters is actually, bro, they, they it, like, obviously it's about the tattooing, but it's really about the drama. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, hosted by Dave, Dave Navarro. Oh, he's so and, sexy. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just, you know, stroke one out watching Ink Masters. Uh, why, why was I talking about this again? Oh, yeah, because, um... The guy on there, you know, you know how reality TV they gotta have the guy that's the asshole, you know, for the yeah, 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 like, uh, like, uh, so, like, so, what's his name, like Simon Cowell? No, but like, you know, like on the show, like Big Brother or something, like one oh, of the like, contestants. Uh, oh, yeah, gotta be the. So, yo, I I never heard this term used for anything other than to describe the shroom strain, but he he was. The guy Josh was arguing with the chick, and he penis was like, envy? you just have penis envy. Oh, wow. And I was like, yo, Whoa. I never heard it used like that. Yeah, well, that's how you trigger somebody for sure. <laughs> penis envy. <laughs> uh, this from Shrooms to Skyrim. Show neither about, uh, the show neither about Shrooms nor about Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters. It's episode 111. Motherfucking Carlos in the building. Oops. Nah, yeah, yeah, do it again. Do it again, do it again. This episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, (laughs) Home of the Fish Taco, Happy Hour, Monday to Friday, 3 to 7, Taco Tuesdays, Tacos Half Off, Sandbar, (coughs) Coconut Grove. This episode also brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Family owned since 1975, your go-to place for fresh, wholesome eats, (laughs) The Last Carrot. Wow. That sounds great. I, I don't always know what to do while it's running. Um, Other than just sit there. Oh well, you could, <laughs> you, could you could like hide behind the mic and back. Like, <laughs> no one can see. Um, pretend you're a marionette. Marionette. That's what. That's the word <laughs> you don't get to hear every day. There's a marionette. Right? That's a marionette. Yeah, like, yeah, like a puppet. I did you see the new new Pinocchio? Nah, did you? So stupid. I mean, <laughs> like, you know, like, plot-wise, it's, like, it's really fucking dumb. It's, 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 like, basically just enough plot to justify the new animation, right? It, no, it's literally the same movie. They didn't really fuck with it too much. Man, you know, I was, I went to, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but you go, I, you know how the seat on the toilet it goes down slowly on some toilets, yeah. so it doesn't slam. Is yours like that? Yeah, in my, in my new house. Yeah. All, right, all right, Do you ever just sit on it to make it go down faster while it's going down? Like, you just go ahead and you just sit on it while it's going down. In the middle of it going down, like, slowly, you just go ahead and you sit on it and push it down. No, because, like, I'm the guy that, first of all, I'm, like, I, I'll, well, I, like, if it's going down slow and I, like, got to sit right then, like, I'll, I'll, like, just kind of, like, help it along. You won't sit on it? Yeah. I'll sit on it instead. I sit on it. 
I say, I say, I say, I'll sit on you. Um, <laughs> anyways, I do declare. I do declare. Um, that's my favorite accent to do. Uh, the actual, Kate, like also the, the only accent I can do. The only phrase. Oh yeah, accent. dude, come here, come check this out on cornbread. On. I <laughs> do declare. No, but like a real Cajun accent is like. There's this guy on Instagram. He's like, he's a yo dude. He says, dude. But the way he says, do we all oh, do catfish, bro, do it is, dude, it sounds like Farmer Fran from from Waterboy. All right, so you, you sat on it. Oh, uh, yeah, my dick got in between the seat and the. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yo, but, how? But think about it. How easy it could, like, that could happen. You say you're right that, you know. Were you hard? No. Maybe morning wood, kind of. Maybe I had like a little chub going. But I, I almost, I didn't, but it is scary. It is a skill. I was like, oh my God. It almost, it was like, yo, your body weight. I'm t- yeah, dude, it would have been wild. It would have been a decapitation. It's dangerous. It's dangerous business. You made it dangerous. It was a slow, it was slow moving. You, it's you careless. made it. Dangerous. It was careless on my part, really. Uh, I be, I was I was gonna say that last pod I completely forgot. Remember I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for the pod, and I never. But saw I it. don't see how it could have almost like. What are you saying? I like. Why are you sitting that close to the? I was front able of the, to like front oh, of the toilet. I was able to like. Well. But why are you sitting that close to the front? <laughs> Maybe I don't have a big toilet. <laughs> and I have a huge dong. <laughs> I I guess I assume that only like <laughs> the newer toilets that with the more uh, Avalon shape are the ones that go down slowly. I didn't consider oh, oh, you might have a little old toilet that also went down slowly. I'm t- dude, it's risky business. That's all I'm saying. Be careful out there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I was When I was in Argentina, they had bidets everywhere, and I was blowing it out. Yo, what was, what was it like? What was it like? I What, the bidet? Yeah, well, one of them, one of them the pressure one. was way too hard. It was like, <laughs> it would hit the ceiling. <laughs> it did. It hit the ceiling. I was like, "Oh, cool! I want to see what the pressure was like." It like fucking hit the ceiling. I was, but it was like right when I opened it. Right when I, it wasn't even like, "Oh, I opened it full throttle." It was like, it was quick, dude. And that's the one I first one I used. Yeah, but so, how did that feel? Um. Well, I was I had a mud butt, and so I was like wiping a lot because I was itchy. So then it was like bloody. Like from wiping it too much or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. And so it, it was rough, but I needed it. So I fucking so like it felt like your asshole was getting pressure washed. Yep, yep. But there's other ones that are way more gentle. Those are, and then you put hot water to soothe it. Oh, yeah. It's it's clutch. It is really clutch. Yo, I've I'm I'm a big procrastinator. But getting up a day is something I've always wanted to do. You could get the to Hello Tushy yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like the ones that attach on to the yeah. toilet you already got. But you can't get heated water on it. Mm. A bidet has the hot and cold water, which is fucking sick. Because I feel like we spend too much of our lives in the bathroom. It, it, you spend too <laughs> much of your time. You spend too much of your time. I'm quick. I don't even close the door. I'm, I'm, I'm like peeing while I'm still peeing while I'm putting my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just pee coming out. You just, yeah. I call it pee kabu. Ah, whatever. That wasn't good. <laughs> uh, that was ter- <laughs> that that was terrible. That was terrible. Oh, well, at least you're honest. Yeah, man. Usually you, you usually gas up everything I do. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good though. I need that. I, I'm I'm keeping it a buck. Keeping keep, it a buck. Keeping it a Honda. Keeping it a buck. Because I do declare. Mama do declare. Yo, man, I, I, everybody out there stay safe. You know, in, in Miami, you know what I'm saying. I will. You know, the, it's, it's raining like crazy. The roads already getting flooded. But but I guess really in Tampa, because the the hurricane coming for Tampa head on. In, in Miami, we've been uh, avoiding bad hurricanes for three decades. You know what I'm saying? Avoiding? What do you mean? We we welcome them. There's not much we could do. <laughs> what are <you> gonna do? <laughs> no, okay, it was it was. Remember, it was the 30th year anniversary of Andrew the other day. What about Irma? Yeah, but that, that wasn't substantial. 
So we've only get hit. We only really got hit once. Yeah. Damn, really? Yeah, like I'm starting to feel like it's one of those, you know, in the movie, it's like, yo, this happens every fifty years. It's like the next one's the next one's gonna be like cataclysmic. Yo, what's wrong with you? Why you gotta say? Why you gotta wish that shit upon us? No, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, but you're like manifesting it. Nah, I, I, I I'll believe in that manifesting shit. Yeah, you're putting it into the universe. Say what you say. Give me that bomb beat from Dre. Let me serenade the streets of L.A. From Oak Town to Sack Town, the Bay Area back down. So give me love, something. That was good. Thank you. It, it wasn't that good. I really faltered at the end. You killed it. Is it music time? Yeah, I think it's music time. Yo. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Nah, you got to play the one the one I like. <laughs> Yo, is that fucking haunted house music? Dude, that's that that one is pretty cool. This one's called Fresh Rum. Man, my phone is like doing stupid things that it shouldn't be doing. Yeah, like getting messages. Like, why the fuck would my phone be getting messages? <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yo, th- this is very seasonal right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, pull it in the back, put it in a crack. Hey, let me get a nigga back, and I'm gonna put you on my back like a knapsack. Cage strap, you already don't do it. I'm fucking, I'm fluent, I'm going, I'm screwing up. Hey, put it down, and I keep it my town. You already loving my sound, and I'm blowing it down, and I keep it like a pound for pound. What? And I know you ain't the love of my town. What? Hey, I'm gonna put him in the water, let him drown. Uh, and then I'm gonna wear my crown. Uh, come for MBV until I DIE. That's Miami coming your way. Hey, with the waves that spray it's coming out of my mouth. Like, I'm gonna put you in the grave that's six feet deep. Cut you all over on 50th Street. Hey, Northwest 7th, that's where we meet. Gonna fuck you up and I can track me. Hey. Bitch, I'm killing it and I'm fucking swerving. I'm drilling it down, loving my sound. Hey, blowing it down, pound for pound. Hey, giving them pain, just like pain. Look at my thing. Uh, look at the thing. Hey, look at that scene. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm sure it's the sky room. It would love you. Love it, love it. Because I love my cousin. Fucking on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, that was a that was a good one. Yeah, there's a lot of little hidden, hidden gems I got here. Yo, you know what? I gotta update the pod logo too. Why? What's wrong with that? Yo, my, ha- my burps are so gross right now. I'm like burping into the microphone. I didn't want I didn't want to say anything, but I can smell it from here. Can you? Yeah. Can you really? Yeah. You, they're, you, they're, they're, you, you gotta start burping the other yo, way. Yo, they're gnarly. You gotta, you gotta start burping. Why didn't you say anything? Cause you my dog, yo. But how did they get over there, dude? They're putrid. I, I got a whiff right now. <laughs> yo, they're putrid. <laughs> so yo, the, is that from the tacos? Yeah, yeah. How much did you spend on tacos? Why? <laughs> 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 no, nah, I got three tacos. And how much did that cost? Why? From why? No, I want to know. I overpaid. <laughs> I'll say it for you. I paid fourteen dollars. You know, Taco Tuesday, the sandbar tacos are half off. Yeah. But even when it's not Taco Tuesday, you'd be spending like $9 on three tacos. <sighs> Just saying. All right, all right, all right. So, um, wait, um, Wiener shit, Pills. Shit, what was I going to say? Wiener Pills. No, I, no I, was, I was about to say something. Oh, don't burp. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. It's gone. I had something really important. <sighs> Where are we at? Because I want to crush both of his claws on the show. <clears throat> oh, 13 sorry. minutes in. 13? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm bugging. I had something really important to say. And then we start talking about your burp. Damn it, dude. Oh, this is really good. Was it your burp right now? You no. want us to talk about your burp? No. What, what, what were we talking about before the burp? Music. Hmm. Wiener pills. Oh yeah, what's all? I I don't remember what I was gonna fucking talk about. Fuck. But yeah, I was, I was, they, they they were talking about dick pills at the club. This, this one of the promoters was telling. Oh, I'm not gonna say he was telling it was someone I work <laughs> with. Uh. But the guy someone I work with, he was like, "Bro, you're supposed to bring me." Da da da. 
And then the guy was like, yo, he wants my dick pills. And I thought he was, like, fucking around. But then the guy, the guy I work with or, you know, work, work for. Um, <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> yo, so I thought that he was joking around when the, when, the, when the promoter was like, dick pills. He was like, yo, like, come on, those shits are fire. And I'm like, oh, they're serious. Like, they're really talking about dick pills right now. He's like, yo, you got to bring He's like, bro, I'm going to bring you a bunch. Like, he's like, bro, these are so fucking good. He said, bro, I could do a line of coke from here to here and then still have a fucking seven-hour boner. Like, that fucking vasculicity of these pills, they're crazy. Vasculicity. Something like that. S- is that a real word? No. Oh, okay. I just said that right now. Yeah. He he the, he's the word he said vascular or something at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, and there blood. there was there was a multi syllabic word with a T too. But yeah, have, have you uh, have you ever got them dick pills like from the gas station? No, like the, nah, like, like nah, the, one, the ones nah. with the like the tiger on them. No, nah, no, nah, you don't do that. Yo, are you? What? Are you popping pills right now? No. Nah. No, nah, this is where I keep my Delta Eight. The fuck is Delta Eight? You don't know who Delta Eight is? <laughs> no, it's the legal strain of marijuana that they sell at gas stations. You ever seen trees at gas stations? You're like, what the fuck is that? Why are you getting weed from gas stations? It's not. Look, it's weed. <laughs> 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 but I call it Delta Eight. <laughs> so, yo, my bad. I'm confused right now. Yo, you're doxing me. <laughs> Wait, so you that's not where you have your diet pills? My diet pills? <laughs> that's what you told me last week. I didn't. I said diet pills? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, diet? Well, I've never why would I say diet pills? You that's what you told me. No, I, no, no. I really I really thought you had diet like I, I saw I saw the, the pill bottle and I'm like, oh he's got his diet pills. Uh, this again. this pill bottle is omeprazole. <laughs> Omeprazole, which is for acid refluxes, which is the best, which is the shit. That's what I take. Do you know any more of that? Because I've been having some bad acid reflux this week. How often do you get it? Like once a week. Yeah. Two it's, times a week. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. not good. <laughs> but I, I get it like daily. Like not daily, but like, yeah, once, twice a week. No matter where you eat. Yo, this is just like a, a riveting conversation. Like, oh, man, they're talking about acid reflux again. Yeah, we talk about acid reflux a lot. We're the unhealthy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the unhealthy podcast. The unhealthy podcast, yeah. What was I going to say? Uh, I remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, so I, what? You know those, the CBS. He's a freaker. <laughs> He's a freaker. You a fricker. Is that your Jar Jar Binks? No, Misa. Misa Frika. <laughs> no, Misa Frika. The name of your juice is Frika. Oh, it is. I didn't even look at the brand when I got it. I was like, oh, orange and carrot. Like, I need to start getting more vegetables in my diet. So let me drink some orange and carrot juice. Okay. They're pasteurized, but it's all right. Yeah, I had a burger on the way over here. No biggie. <laughs> no, it was. It was a biggie with fries. <laughs> but uh, you know those <laughs> <laughs> from, from BK. You remember the Biggie meals? No, a Biggie with fries. I don't remember that. A Big Mac. Oh, you're right. That's McDonald's. Even though you didn't say that, but I was wrong. Yeah, I, I, I was confused. I just give you credit for for uh, random things. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> so you know the CVSs in Little Havana where it's CVS, Emas. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. E. E. Carlos. E. E. Carlos? That was funny. No, you just put Imaz. No? I I like like that, too. I don't want my name in it. Keep my wife's name (laughs) out of your fucking mouth. E Emos is cool because it it kind of ropes Sean in there too. Whenever he decides to fucking show up, yeah, he doesn't have commitment like I do. Sorry, Sean. Yo, if if he's actually here tomorrow, we're, we're gonna we're gonna fuck with him. No, we're gonna I'm gonna be battle him. 
beat off. Yo, <laughs> you guys should definitely beat each other off. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a beat off. I'll, I'll force that too hard. Yeah, we're gonna have a beat off. He's probably better at it. Than we're gonna I beat am. off. T- we're gonna beat off tomorrow. I haven't been doing beats. I've been doing scores. Yo, you sounded so bougie when you said that. I haven't been doing beats. I've been. Doing, I haven't, been but doing I movie scores. But I have. I literally haven't. Yo, when you posted a screenshot on your story about a satisfied customer, and then oh yeah, and then I, I just kept it, it going. <laughs> I just kept it going. Yeah, yeah. You were like the, he was like, yo, this is so great. Da, 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 da. Like I went back and forth, and you posted on your story like, oh, another satisfied customer. Yeah. And then I responded to it like with the flame emoji or something. Yeah. And you were like, yeah, I gave him a hand job in the bathroom. <laughs> no, I no, wait, I'll tell you exactly what I said. I said I've sucked him dry or some shit like that. <laughs> I suck. I, <laughs> so, it was some wild shit. Wait. Misa Frika. Misa. Misa. Misa Frika. <laughs> oh, Misa. From Shrooms to Skyrim, but with Matthew and Hiram. Yes. Myra. Uh, I, suck, I, put, I sucked him up real good. I sucked them real. We good. Sh- we shot a porn, LMAO. You, I could you could. That's e- that's easily believable. Yeah, but it's not true. <laughs> 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 yeah, so yo, it, it made us. You're seemingly in it innocent exchange when I reread it. It just seems so dirty after you texted me that. Where <laughs> it was very <laughs> believable. Did you have to? Did you have to tor- uh, tor- torque it after? I I tor- <laughs> I ha- I had to torque it and twerk it, dude. I I get I get triggered to torque it. What 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 triggers you? Um, there'll be like a movie. Be, I'll be watching a movie and like the chick is hot, and I'm like, oh, has this girl ever been nude? Boom, torquing it. I don't think I've ever been triggered by something I've watched, like a movie. We're just different animals. You know what triggers me is the fucking Instagram algorithm. Cause I guess I fucking lingered on or liked a fucking big booty or big booby pick once or twice, and now every single thing that's fucking suggested is ass shaking and titty shaking. And I can't get away from it now. Oh, send it, send it, send it. What? Send it, send it, send it, send it. I just texted you. No, I'm just kidding. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you made me check my phone. Yo, you're it. looking at me. I didn't. T- <laughs> I wonder what I've been texting you. <laughs> you just had your phone when you when you was pulling up receipts. All right, so this guy Ernesto that was here with uh that was here with yeah oh, yeah with Gino yeah is that Gino right Gino such a good name stupid Carlos you think that's short for anything who names their kid Gino. <laughs> Yeah, his name's Gino. He's gonna be great. <laughs> um, uh, he, the Ernesto's asking for a job at Aguacate. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, oh. Ernesto. <laughs> oh, did he actually go over there? He's been there. He wants to be a healer there. What? What? Where is that again? <laughs> are Are you Are you gonna? Text no, it to no. Me? <laughs> uh, no, no. I'm not gonna text it to you. I actually I knew oh one two one zero zero Southwest Forty Third Street Awakate Sanctuary of Love. Wait, Southwest. 40th. So you're gonna be on the Turnpike, get off on Bird Road, make an exit going west, make a left on One Hundred and Twenty Second Avenue. Yeah, and then it's right there. Oh, so Forty Third Street One Twenty. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, R- next to, like past Kendall Regional, and then make a left at the light. And then you say your, your sister. Oh, is it right? Mm-hmm. It's a restaurant, right? My sister and my wife run it. Yeah, it's a animal sanctuary, yeah, but they have a juice bar and they have a kitchen. Okay, so I, I was trying to figure out like why was I thinking this was a restaurant when they were talking about it? Yeah, also, well, they, they they do have a juice bar. Uh, oh yeah, the juice bar is fire. Everything's good there. Um, I like juice bars. That's but yeah, Ernesto was like, "Hey, what's up? Trying to find some part time." So he's gonna join the Alicante crew, hopefully. He's our friend. He was on a couple episodes ago. Him and Gino. Oh well, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We love you, Gino. I know you're not gonna watch us, but whatever. <laughs> so we can say whatever the fuck we want. Maybe he will. Is he here? No. 
Then you, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I I did get a notification that he subscribed on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Another one. Did you put a tag on your? Uh, have you been putting tags on it? <laughs> no. Oh, you know what? I I did put tags. You figured it out? Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, have you been using it? Yeah. So like when I upload on YouTube, I use the same template every single time. So has, has have you seen a difference in the trend? I'm not gonna lie. We get we like the past month. We we've been getting more views. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we've had some really funny episodes too. You think so? Yeah. Man, I should just keep drinking, right? I should never <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> We need you to sacrifice your body for science. I thought these dudes were like sober and shit, and they're like, no, you know, we like Mountain Dew and Surge, and uh, <laughs> we're going to go to a fucking bar and drink after, and then we'll do some rapey on some chick there. I mean, Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sorry, are you watching Andor on Disney Plus? Is the new Star and Wars show. or what? <laughs> <laughs> and or, um, no, but he's the dude from the from Rogue One. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. I haven't seen it yet. Yo, so they released three episodes all at once, right? Mm-hmm. And. You know, release them to critical acclaim, and I uh, can um, I can also say that this show, like everyone's saying right now, is fucking amazing. Oh, really? Yeah, really good. But it's 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 that you know Disney. No, no, no. It's it's like that you know that gritty. Uh, like this, like this is not. It's not Obi one. Like kids, <laughs> no, no. It's not like you know, like on some massive intergalactic scale. Like this is like really gritty. The the stories is really good. Oh, uh, like the cast, bro. Like like uh, setting wise, yeah. Like it's just so good, bro. All right, maybe in another lifetime I'll watch it. But um. Is it as good as She Hulk? <laughs> just kidding. She Hulk is great though. I fucking love it. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She She Hulk's been really entertaining, bro. There's been hella Easter eggs, uh, dropping in She Hulk, um, bro. And and the She Hulk, uh, credits are like the very you know this is in universe references to Deadpool, and various X Men, Cyclops, Wolverine. Yeah, of so, course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And there's a and the I mean, not, let alone the cameos. Um, you know, what I was thinking about the other day. There's, there's one way they could swing the X Men in the MCU. Take notes. <laughs> is um, kind of like how in the comics they, you 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 know the character Sentry. All right, so there's a Marvel character <laughs> called. S- <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Where, but what are they? What 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 comic are they in? Century? What series are they in? Century? Yeah. Are they in? He. Well, they, because he, he's also, like, inside of him is a being called the Void. There's a whole thing. So he's, like, a f- Superman-esque character. He's, like, super fucking powerful. Okay? But he has this crazy primordial darkness inside of him. So basically, the character was introduced, like, in the mid-2000s, something like that. Mm-hmm. But they made it. Is so in universe that he's like always been around, and his home base is on top of Avengers Tower. But because of some incident that happened, Doctor Strange and them, they you know they got together and like cast this fat ass spell, so that everyone would forget about Sentry, and he forgot about that he was Sentry, and the tower became invisible, and everyone forgot he existed. Uh huh. So. I don't know what triggered this, but I I was just I, I was watching something. And I was, I was just thinking <laughs> to myself, cause um cause Professor X is in uh Multiverse of Madness, right? And 
I remember one of the things like they were saying, like everyone has a doppelganger in throughout the multiverse. But that that was the thing, like America Chavez was like, I have no I have no doppelganger, like there's no one like me. Like I'm the only one in the multiverse. That could go through multiverses? No, like every university goes to, there is no other America Chavez. She's the only one. Oh wow. She has no doppelganger. And then I was just thinking to myself, you know, like there was they went to a universe, there's a Stephen Strange in every universe, you know what I'm saying? So it's like by that logic, there should be a Professor X in every universe. It's a doppelganger. So I'm like, what if the you know the X Men are in the MCU? And because they already have sh- done this with Spider Man, where he cast a spell to make everyone forget. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's just kind of like, <laughs> you know, something I was thinking about. Did you smell my burger gun? No, All no, right. I just smell weed now. All right, thank God. Or, uh, it, oh uh, no. Uh, I, I smell, I smell it now. Really? I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Is, like, is that from the tacos? Yeah, they're deadly. Yo, y- what, what else did I eat today? No, I had oh, I had chicken empanadas, but they were they weren't. Deadly. I had chicken empanadas this morning, but you're you're banned from eating tacos. <laughs> they're it's bad, right? I don't it's know. It's really bad. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, maybe it's uh, yeah. I don't know. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> There's like this garlic sauce. They were so delicious though. I feel like there's like a hot garbage water inside of me that's like <laughs> fermenting. <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of the PTC? You down with PTC? So the PTC is the Parents Television and Media Council. So it's really PTAMC. <laughs> and there was h- hilarious uh organization so basically this is an article that they published on their website parents tv.org um they chastised disney plus for breaking its 2019 promise not to add r-rated movies to its streaming platform oh uh, disney yeah well why wouldn't they it'd be fucking dumb so this this was triggered when they added and i was just watching deadpool, deadpool? 2 yeah deadpool deadpool 2 and logan um. So they they came out with this statement. Uh, three years ago, the Walt Disney Company made a promise to families: no R-rated movies on Disney Plus. They said it's a family-focused platform. They said we have Hulu for our edgier adult. Fair, they said. It turns out they were lying to us. After decades of corporate brilliance establishing itself as the world's most trusted brand for families, today's sea level suite at Disney has decided to flush it all down the toilet, said PTC President Tim Winter. When Dis- while Disney Plus points subscribers to its parental controls, the mere presence of R rated and TV. MA rated content violates the trust and sensibilities of families. What took decades to build is now taking mere months to erase. One day in the can't believe this quote goes on and on. One day in the no too distant future, business schools will point back to this abrupt corporate U turn as they analyze what happened to the once great Walt Disney Company. And in the meantime, Families will continue to be woefully underserved by Hollywood. Jeez. <coughs> well said. I mean, I don't agree, but <laughs> it was well said. <laughs> <laughs> um. Boom. Um. And then I have another excerpt uh-oh. here. Uh. Oh yeah, so the, <laughs> this is from another article. I I, uh, I took a screenshot where they they're talking shit about adult cartoons. Um, what the fuck? Uh, because it's a cartoon, it's likely to attract young, impressionable viewers. That's why we are urging parents to check out and double check the the parental controls on their streaming subscriptions. 
To an unsuspecting child stumbling across it, human resources might look like Monsters, Inc. with bizarre-looking made-up characters sharing an office space, except that these creatures include the hairy, sex-crazed hormone monsters from Big Mouth, Mm -hmm. a character referenced to as Dick Pinwheel. I'll spare you the description of what it looks like. And although it's it's a pinwheel made of lots of dicks. (laughs) And although the stories don't revolve around adolescent characters episodes still contain disturbing sexualized references to chil- children uh, like the hormone monster who says i mean i'm perfectly satisfied getting til- ch- children to touch their uh, privates uh, uh, this is sick twisted stuff and it's designed to attract the young viewers while normalizing the sexualization of young children and because it's animated the program's producers are able to depict things that would be impossible or even illegal with a live action series that was my favorite part. <laughs> I mean, it's true. They have a lot of freedom with it. Uh, Will Arnett. Will Arnett uh, is a voice on that show. He's the hormone monster. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to fucking whip it out right now and just start jerking it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, um, it's like this is one of those organizations that's like super pro-Christian. You know what I'm saying? They fucking hate uh Anything does not like buy the fucking those, Bible. Uh, those people are like suppressing their yeah big 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 time big time suppressing like I, I want to be like what is your what's your go to those people and be like what's your what do you like what's your fetish that you don't want to admit nothing I don't like anything you like something there's something you do that's not you know there it maybe it doesn't have to be sexual but you know everybody has their thing I don't know fucking nobody's perfect and it's cool it's creativity it's art it's fucking hilarious dude uh. South Park, like shows like South Park, bro. It's like South Park is damn near fucking educational. Like, yeah. is, is that no? It's 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 it, fucking it, hilarious. It's hilarious. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's always like current events. Too. Super irreverent, but like South Park's commentary on the like the ridiculousness of like shit that goes on is like, it's really like South like shows like South Park have really fucking smart writing. That show you how fucking stupid shit a fucking society is. And these motherfuckers just want to fucking uh, suppress. Um, What's the word? What, what, what's, what's the word when you're being. Um, Repressed? No. Censored? Censored. They want to fucking censor everything. It's irritating. And. Yo, their fucking open letter to Disney was so fucking dumb. It was fucking kind of funny. Free the nipple. Um, they're fucking mad at Disney for including uh Deadpool and Deadpool two and Logan. Oh, like get the fuck out of here, bro! <laughs> I like I can't even I, I can't even keep talking about this. It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> I mean, at least it's something to talk about. It's like when uh, Trump was in office. It was the craze. (laughs) Sleepy Joe. Sleepy, sleepy Joe. (laughs) Sleepy Joe. Dude, I keep forgetting what I'm about to say. I had something right after this. But, um, yo, I listened to a song for the first time the other day called uh, um, Puffy Nipples. Nowhere fast, big areolas. It's Eminem featuring Kalani, fire. And I was like, I said to myself, I'm like, bro, every time Chris Brown makes, I mean, Eminem makes music with <laughs> one of Chris Brown's exes, it's just like a recipe for success. Really? Yeah, that's good. I mean, maybe it's something with Chris Brown. He's doing something there. He just fucking hits him in a certain way. Oh yeah. You think he still hits women? Who, Chris Brown? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think so. You think that was a one-time thing? Yeah. It better be. Or else I'm going to fuck him up. I'm just kidding. I love you, Chris Brown. Dude, he has so many fucking good songs, man. Uh, yeah. I love I love his features, you know, like, and I, I love Big Sean and features. And there's a song where it's Wiz Khalifa. I love Wiz Khalifa <laughs> as well. Cushion Orange Juice, baby. Oh, my God. Here's one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to make you start. Like, you have to burp, like, into your shirt. 
Oh my I can smell it, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. You gotta stop letting this shit up into the atmosphere. Oh my god, there's something <laughs> something's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm dying. Yo, like it's it's it smells like you like shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> like that. What? Well, how is this coming out of your mouth? I don't know. Is your throat burning? Uh, am I? I could just feel like. Inside my stomach, like, like, uh, you know, like nuclear waste buckets. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Matthew. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's good content. It's good content. Yeah. If you guys could only smell these putrid smells, what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah. All right. So, um, was 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 Khalifa. was Khalifa till I die? Have you ever heard it? Uh, probably. Sounds, wow, sounds, wow! Look at familiar. me now. Please look like an Indian. I'm talking the clouds, dude. Mm. Bars. Great, great track to listen to if you want to hear a cool collab. I'm always down to listen to cool collabs, and I love all of Big Sean's collabs too. I I love his mixtapes like Flight School and Burn uh, Burn After Rolling. Wiz Khalifa. Uh, yeah. 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 There you go. Let me smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> Um, but Chris Brown is, uh, <laughs> he makes good music, but stop hitting women, but keep making music. Uh, maybe you don't anymore. I'm sorry. I hope he hears this. <laughs> 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 He'd be like, Dad, this, he's, this guy's dumb. He's going to come slam me in the face. <sighs> Deserved. Oh, but Matthew's here. What? You're here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll protect you. I mean, you don't have to like protect her. You could just kind of stiff arm or whatever you do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no calisthenics or hand eye coordination for combat, so and I cry really easily. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> are Are you about to demonstrate? Let me show you. Let me put on the waterworks. Let me show you my special talent. My special talent. A love depot. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one to put it up there. You tell me. It's it, it, it's like it's aesthetically pleasing though. It's like a pyramid. Word. A love depot. Yo, it's a me- word pyramid. You remember that song, Love Shack? Love Shack, Shack baby, love Shack. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I love the B fifty two. That's that's the name of the band, the B fifty two. Yo, you really just powered up there for a second. Oh yeah, baby. No shack is a little of that we could get together. Then love shack, baby. <laughs> don't don't. <laughs> Dude, please don't. Don't what? What are you saying? Don't to me or the audience. Don't upload this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't upload this. <laughs> yeah, upload. I was like, was that the right word? Upload? Or is it download? <laughs> Wait, no, it's right. No, it's upload. <laughs> Man, the white claws are fucking in now, dude. Yo, did you already finish the first one? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to see the. I want. All right, look. <laughs> At home, I want you to watch the first five minutes and then fast forward to the... Actually, start with the last five minutes <laughs> and then go back to the first five minutes and just look at the difference in me. And that's what White Claw does to you. Yo, so I was on, Insta- I was, I was on uh, Instagram <laughs> and, and Dave Ramsey, screen- he screenshots his tweets and put them on Instagram. Dave Ramsey's one of those financial guys. His his thing, his Like shit- Garvey? Who? Garvey. Um, oh my God! Did you burp again, <laughs> dude? I covered what the my fuck, dude. <laughs> I covered my mouth. I, covered. I had my mouth open talking, and I just like I ate it. There's nothing I can do. I have to get up and burp outside. <laughs> I was, yo, I was literally. It's was on my tongue. I was literally like this. I was like, uh, All right, I'm gonna burp into the pillow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, bur- burp into your backpack, like burp into your backpack, <laughs> and then and then zip it. <laughs> oh, oh, this one. What does this smell like? 
I, oh, I feel like I'm dying right it now. It smells like shit. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Are you have to burp again? No, I want to take something. Maybe you have gum. Is that gum? That's just not gonna help it. Yeah, it would. <laughs> no, <laughs> it would. Lit- it literally makes your breath. What? It literally makes my your breath-, breath doesn't smell bad. It's the. It's what's inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> is that gum though? What is that? These are pills from Argentina. <laughs> More. What kind of pills? This is a mesoprol. What's that for? Acid to be flexing. This is I think that's like exactly what it's for here. Smell it? Nah, I can't I can't swallow pills. Really? Yeah, I, I how do you take your ecstasy? Through your butt? <laughs> you boof it? <laughs> I, I boof the ecstasy. I boof that bitch. I bo- Yo, so Dave Ramsey, his shtick is like uh it's all about getting out of debt, you know what I'm saying? Living debt free. I'm not gonna get into that. Uh I follow him on Instagram, like he be he be posting good stuff. Um He the, so this is what he said that I like. Like no credit cards? Yeah. What's wrong? Well, why do you want why does he want to be debt free? It's good for you. I mean uh, that's his whole thing. It's, it's, it's the whole thing. But look, this is what he said. Almost all long term thinking has short-term pain. Almost all short-term thinking has long-term pain. And I was like, fuck yeah, that's fucking deep. You're like... You got, like, it's a rhyme, right? It's like, I, I'm like, damn. Those bars. Yeah, big big bars. Big bars. That's right, bitch. We're strapped with dildos. What? Hey, new rule. No more white claw on the show. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I fixed it. So it's not stop and start. Could before I was, I was having to like <laughs> double tap it. Oh really? Fuck yeah! Oh yo, do you have to throw up? I don't know. You're probably still smelling. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yo, the fan is blowing. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I gotta take cover, dude. It's, it's coming for me. It's somewhere out there. I'm usually healthy. There's <laughs> something wrong with me. Nah, I've never been healthy. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah, do you know what they call me? I'm scared to open my mouth. You know what my favorite album is? What? Illmatic. Because my because my tummy is very ill. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Ill communication. License to ill. Yo, speaking of uh, financial figures, mm. something Clark Howard I just thought said. Of, I just thought of an eight, but like a woman. Like an eight, I was like, damn. All right, go ahead. Sorry. What? <laughs> you were like financial figures, and I thought of an eight. <laughs> like super sexy eight. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. All right, go ahead. Financial advisors. So, uh, you 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 remember when the pandemic started and everyone was like buying gold, and there's people that are like stockpiling gold in case like the, you know the economy crashes and the dollar becomes worthless. And I was I uh, like I'd be thinking to myself like yo I should get fucking gold I I sh- I need to have gold bars you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh huh. And then something Clark Howard said kind of got me off that fence. Uh, he said pe- people that hoard gold for the apocalypse, when you take that to its logical extreme, it means you have no faith in the current world system. And so as long as like, I'm thinking about thriving in the way the world is, you know what I'm saying? It would take away from what I'm doing to get gold. You know what I'm saying? It means I have no faith that in the way things are. Which I mean, the way things are going is it is hard to have faith these days. I don't know. I just believe in adaptation. 
And then, like, I really thought to myself, I'm like, oh, bro, if things if things get that bad where I need to be relying on, like, gold I got buried in the backyard, <laughs> I mean, it probably doesn't even fucking matter no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> I really don't care about money like that. I wish I did, though. No, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, post-apocalyptic dystopian society. Yeah, you know, I just adapt and figure it out. And then if I get eaten or killed, then fuck it, you know. So, like doomsday preppers? Yeah. <laughs> so fucking. So ridiculous. You ever seen Blast from the Past? No, what's that? With Brendan Fraser? My dog! That's a movie with uh, Alicia Silverstone and Brendan Fraser. And he has, uh, during the Russian nuclear crisis or whatever when they were with uh like siding with cuba and stuff during the bay of pigs and all that okay okay they were there was like the russian missile crisis so people were scared that they were well, i thought it was the cuban missile crisis yeah they, whatever oh but, <laughs> but it but it's russian backed at the end of the day yeah well i'm saying that event was called the cuban missile crisis i don't know i'm not cuban <laughs> 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 oh shit you got me on camera here. Uh, uh so um so they have a shelter you know it's like the you know and uh something happened and they thought there was like an earthquake and they thought that was it was the nuclear it was like a nuclear yeah. missile and they were down there for like 50 years and then there's the 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 shelter opens up because they had enough Supplies. Wait, is that the one where their son is born in the bunker? Yeah, there you go. And then when they cut, it's like a bar. Their house gets torn down, yeah, yeah. and it, then it's a bar, and then the bar goes out of business, and he comes out. Is yeah. that the one? Yeah, I have seen that movie. It's great. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> I don't think I had it. In, I don't think I had it. <laughs> I don't think I had it in me to finish explaining that. Yo, I feel like the White Claw is winning right now. No, nah, never. Yo, we 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 got we gotta start having uh our the meditation segment back again. Oh, we can do it right now. I actually have a lot out. I actually have a lot that I wanna. Yo, but if y- you gotta play that song though. Oh the wait, one, which the one? one, was one it? Where, the one where we pitched the sample. Up. Oh yeah, you got me, you got me fucking in my banger. feelings. Oh, I need. It's a fucking banger. Which one is it? Wait. Oh, here we go. You got me in my feelings. Oh, all for me. You got me in my feelings. Oh, all for me. You got me in my feelings. Oh, all for me. You got me in my feelings. You got me in my feelings. You got me in my feelings. Got me in my feelings. Hey, fuck that. I ain't got none of them hidden ceilings. Uh. Hitting the scene, eh? Uh. For that pussy being fainted, eh? uh, and the way I've been dreaming, it's like I've seen this before. Deja vu with my deja crew. Hey, you already know I'm from the zoo. Call me animal, animal instinct. Throw a shit fit. See how my fist stinks. That means I've been fisting myself, fisting my butt. Ain't no penetration, no need for menstruation. I'm a dude, I have no ovaries, no need for relations. Pitch that up. Hey, I like the way it's gonna come back in until the course right here, right here. Hey. Right here, right here, right here. Hey. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You got me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Very nice. Very nice. Ah. <sighs> So at work, uh, the guy I work with, he's been stressing about uh, about his wife too, 
And I feel like a lot of guys. Why do you say two? Are you stressing about your wife? No, nah, we just complain about the same shit. Oh, like what? I don't know because I don't have a wife. <gasps> a wife. It's like, uh, like when I get home, she's like, let's build a house. I'm like, I'm really tired from work. She's like, well, we got to do it. <laughs> you know, maybe it's like going somewhere or doing something, but I just want to chill a lot of the time. Like when we went to Argentina, it was like nonstop walking everywhere, sleeping three hours, the flights over here and there. I was like, dude, this isn't vacation. This is a fucking journey. You know, when I come back to work, they think, oh, you were arrested. It's like, no. I'm not, because I was with my wife. She had me fucking <laughs> running on a treadmill the whole time. So I see, like, I feel like it's a pattern I see with a lot of dudes that are married. Like the the the, one, the women want to like be out and about and like doing shit, and a lot of dudes just want to fucking just want peace. That's what I call it, peace. Am I a lazy? <laughs> pe- I feel like a lazy piece of shit <laughs> saying it. I mean, that's that's kind of what I do. I chill all the fucking time. I wish I married you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, babe. <laughs> Are you going to watch this with her? Maybe. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> we watch, we, we watched the other episode together. She loved it. And then she saw when I was like, I need you to do your Reiki in my balls so I could me and my fucking beautiful wife. We could make a beautiful fucking baby together so we could have a fucking beautiful family. And she was like, oh, you said fucking so many times. (laughs) 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 Nah, but she loved it. Yeah, she liked that. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. I thought she was going to be upset by the thing that, you know, I thought she was going to be upset that I was going to say something stupid. Because I have. I say a lot of stupid things. But I just so happened to say some shit like that. And even though I said fucking a million fucking times, she still, she's, you know, she was like, oh. You want to do Reiki on your balls? <laughs> yeah, you want to do Reiki on your balls so you have a beautiful family? I'm your fucking beautiful wife. Yeah, that was nice. Thanks. Thanks, podcast. <laughs> I appreciate that. Shout out to Carlos's wife. Shout out. <laughs> Snurf. Snurf. Yeah, you like Thundercats? Uh, it's all right. All right, whatever, dude. Like that? You like Thundercats? That's like a childhood thing. My, I grew up with it. <clears throat> My brother loved it. I'm more of a He-Man kind of guy. It's really bad. He Man's so bad. You don't like He Man? He Man's horrible. Yo, He Man's the best, dude. He Man's the best. <laughs> Skeletor. That dude, he's the worst villain. He's the best. He's the best too. They're both the best. I've never seen an episode. I'm gonna watch an episode and I'll get <laughs> back to you on it. What? How how are you gonna say he's the best? <laughs> he's the worst. <laughs> It's just something about his outfit and his haircut. His haircut is so (laughs) fucked. Yo, who would it? No, but I would if I had hair, bro. That's the hair you would have. Hell yeah. Me too. I would take any hair. Yo, it's it's, it seems like an early like a douchebag German haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like that's he's he who eats the pasta has (laughs) to run faster. That's my German impersonation. <laughs> I don't know. I have a horrible German impersonation. But yeah, man. No, but the fit Yo, and the they, hair is they, like they, fucked. they have like a 2020 remake. It's like a continuation of the series on Netflix called He Man Masters of the Universe. How is it? It's good. You watched the whole thing? Yeah. It's like it's like ten episodes. Oh. It was light work. You get to see Skeletor become Skele God. White Claws are winning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Yo, you got the fucking big White Claws too. Yeah. Them, them just fucking took you out. No, but I'm good. No, you're good. I'm doing great. What do you need? I'll do it right now. 
I'm so skilled. <laughs> Man, you know, to be honest with you, like honest I could with I me. could smoke weed all day, but but alcohol definitely takes away any inhibitions. That's why you got to release your inhibitions, feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else, no one else can read the words on your lips. No one else can your lips. Yo, why am I burping now too? Is it because I swallowed your burps and now it's wreaking havoc inside of me? Am I allowed on the pod next episode? <laughs> <laughs> I've been burping. White Claws win. I was so hungry and cranky on the last episode. I just hope I'm like, oh, dude, Michael. Uh, dude, Michael. <laughs> the reason number four to get rid of Carlos. <laughs> Yo, did you just fucking call me Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, man, I've been I watched the Last Dance again. I watched it twice. I'm such a fucking loser. W- which one was that movie? It's a it's a docu- oh the oh the documentary yeah, yeah, yeah. docu series little docu series yeah. How many white claws did yep. you have? Man, <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what I watched the other day? Um, a few good men. What's that one? That's a really is the one with Tom Cruise. He's the 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 Navy lawyer. He's the last good man. There's a few good men. Yo, know, like that movie what, like is so good, bro. I forgot how good it was. What's your definition of a few? Is it more than two? <laughs> all the way to what? A few is it more than two, but all the way to so what? a couple is two. Several would be like three to. four. No, I guess few and several are interchangeable. Few, few or several could be anywhere from fucking three to nine. A few, yeah. And then once you hit ten, what? What's that? A lot of people. A bunch. A bunch. A bunch. Bunch of bu- bunch of bananas. Oh, now I'm getting acid reflexes. I'm getting a bunch uh. of acid reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's about that time, anyways. Is it really? What time is it? Yeah. I mean, what? How long is it? Bro, yo, I was I was about to play the outro music, but oh, you know what? It's on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, f- I forgot your phone's connected to the Bluetooth. Oh, I have another song. I have another song. I want. Did you already disconnect it? No, I got one for the outro. If it's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that, that's, that's that, strike number six. That's gonna, that, be, that's that's gonna be the final <laughs> strike. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this, Carlos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Rather fire him. You hired, you fired. That's Trump. I'm telling you what's up. Put it in your butt. Poop, poop. There ain't no one in the zoo when we're trailing the monkeys. We're throwing the poop. We're throwing feces. Eating the Reese's with the peanut butter crunch. Having a bunch. Having some lunch. Fuck it. Sunday midday. Call it brunch. Uh, that's just a hunch. I'm a detective. I'm at a collective. And it's a collective. That's what it takes. It takes a village. The trillers. I hope I, I could come back on the next episode because I really did bad this one. Hey! This is like music to take Molly to. It's, uh, th- my reference for this track was Radiohead.
Halloween music. <laughs> it's trying to fade out. I'm like, no. That was me. <laughs> I was trying to fade it out. Oh, I thought that was like. No, no, a, no, no, I no. thought that was a natural stopping point. No, no, it goes for a while. How long is a How long is a while? Is it more than several? It's a few. <laughs> All right, we could really do that. We could do the other one. What other one? Oh, I mean, you already you already did it. No, but we're still talking. <laughs> we have to find another one now. What? No. 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 All right. Cool. <laughs>